Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial today. I'm going to be bringing you um, some steps and uh, to help you guys uh, out here, and I'll, I'll, this is all like revolving around Minecraft, and this is a response video to Meatwagon 22's uh, video that I'm going to be posting. This is a re video response to it, so if you guys are on my channel and seeing this, I'm going to put a link to his video in the description, but I'm going to be doing a video response today for Mac users that are want to do all this stuff that Meatwagon was showing, but di like it's d different on Mac than it is PC, so I know a lot of people needed a tutorial, so I was out and coming here to today to bring it to you guys, so um, I'm going to get started here, so a lot of people have been asking how to make a Minecraft server, there's two ways you can make it, one you can do it this way that I'm going to show you, or you can get a bucket server, which I think that's what Meatwagon mentioned he did, um, I, I actually have, I tried bucket, but I didn't really like it, I just uh, use this the normal water the like normal one but yeah so if you guys are uh, you guys are wondering about bucket servers then uh, just skip this part and see if you guys can get to the next part uh, in the video because uh, I'm just gonna be showing you a regular buck or not regular just regular Minecraft server so what you're gonna do uh, hop open your internet thing Safari Firefox whatever and go to minecraft.net and it should look like this and you guys probably know where this is at Play Minecraft. You, everybody's downloaded it. Uh, hopefully, so um, it's gonna pop up right here. It's gonna show you download for Mac or Windows, whatever your thing is. But down here, you're gonna see this Minecraft server.jar, and you're gonna wanna download that. And um, before you do this, make sure you have a good computer. Like you don't wanna have a crappy Windows laptop or something. Make sure you have a really good computer. Cause I have a the Mac, whatever you call it, you call it like the tower one. And it's, it's tons of RAM, tons of gigabytes, so it's really good at hosting like servers and stuff. So once you download this, uh, you want to save this file, and it's going to pop open your downloads. You're just going to right-click on that, and you want to show click Show in Finder. It's going to show up like so, and it's it's right here. So what you're going to do is just click, or click on it, hold it, drag it, and let it go right in your... Uh, right on your desktop and I'm not going to do it because I already have my normal one right here so it's going to look like this so there it is you want to also next you want to click right click and then new folder I'm just going to delete this one I already made one so this is going to be your little folder you're going to use for your Minecraft server so just open that up and you're going to drag this thing right into it just drop it then double click it and it should uh, open this window right here and start putting stuff in this folder so Whenever it does it, and yeah, make sure you double click. You can't just click it. I double clicked it, but I don't know what it's doing. Oh, I know what it is. Wait, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I know what it is. I already had it open. My bad. Sorry about that. So it's gonna open a window, uh, like. So, yeah, there we go. So it's going to be like this. Sorry about that. Um, it's going to pop open a window like this. Uh, yeah, so just select that done when it says done or whatever. Um, just leave it, drag it off. And you're going to look in this folder. All this stuff is going to be in here. So pretty self-explanatory. Band IPs and all that. You just type it in there. Apps, whatever. So um, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll do another video if you guys want how to do all this like stuff in here. But uh, I'm just going to be doing... I'll just show you guys the main stuff right now. So it's there it is. You have the server. It is now open. But you're going to need one more thing if you want your friends to join. There's this program called PortMap. And this is for Mac, obviously, only. So you're going to go to portmap.com or I think it's something like that. I'll put the link in the description for it. But um, So you're just going to, once you download that, open it. Say something, click OK or whatever. And you're, it's going to be blank right here. So it's not going to show this. So you're going to want to do Add Mapping. And you want to type in local port 25565. Once that's done, go to down to description, type in Minecraft or something like that. So you know which it is. So it should look like this, and it should light up green. And if it's, if it's not green, you're, you're not going to be able to host the server, so you're only going to be able to play by yourself. So if not, I'm not sure what to do about that. So I don't think you can do like anything if it doesn't. Um, if it's not green. It, I mean, yellow, you can have yellow, but if it's red, it's not going to work. So. Once you have this, so now you uh, you have a server and now it's officially on. So if you want, if you want like your friends to join it, 
you're gonna have to do this. This is the IP you give them, all right? This two four or whatever, and then what you're gonna use to log in. So when you're going into Minecraft and then multiplayer, and then add server, you're gonna type in whatever name you want, my server, and then the IP when it says server address, you're typing in this one right up here, this one nine two whatever or whatever your guys is gonna be. You wanna type in that one. Do not type in the other one or it will not work. So yeah. You wanna use that one. I don't I'm not sure why I've tried it the other one, it just doesn't even load. So there's uh that. Uh you so it's gonna be open. Once you whoops. Once you open port map and you have that server.jar open and it shows that little window, you should be good. You wanna go to your login and boom, you're in. So it's just a randomly generated uh server. I mean, it's not server, sorry, world. Um, unless you're going to do the other feature that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit in the uh, towards the end of the video where you can put your own world in a server. So I'm going to show you guys that. <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting off a of cold. I've had a really bad sore throat lately, so sorry about that. But So yeah, here you go. And um, that's, a, that's pretty much it for this. So if you want to give yourself creative mode, I'm not gonna go into depth right now to show you guys because I'm trying. I want to try to get through this. What you're gonna do? Just go in OPS right here. You wanna if it doesn't let you open it, open with text. You wanna open with text edit and then type in the people that you want right in there and then save it and then right click on the server jar or whatever, quit it and then open it back up and it'll make you OP and then you type backslash game mode space your name space one is creative mode and then. Uh, zero is just survival. Um, so that's so when you're in the thing, you don't have to keep this open. You can just minimize both of these, and then exit out of that. So, <coughs> all right. So next, people are wondering how to play with like friends on a server. I just kind of showed you guys. Uh, that's how you do it. You just want to have these two things. You want to have port map. You have to have port map to play with friends, and you just want to give them, as I said, this IP right here. You want to use this one up here. They get this one right here to join. So, yeah, and then once you're in, then you guys can uh, both roam around and do whatever, play a survival mode. Um, Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to get, like, a map. So, I know Median Guns, uh, they give you the map down, They I think they just started this in a couple, like, um, episodes ago or whatever. Not a couple episodes, but when they were, whatever, when they were doing different things. So, anyway, they have the link in the description. So, anyway, <coughs> oh man, I'm sick. So you want to go to whatever the link is, and then try to download it. So you're gonna just—I'm just gonna use this as an example on Planet Minecraft. So you're gonna download it, just kind of follow the things, whatever it says. All right, what? So yeah, sorry about that background noise too. My brother's playing basketball with his friends, so um, it's usually gonna be a media fire or ad fly or something like that. You just click the skip ad and ad fly. So then, what it's going to do, it's going to download in your, into your downloads. You're just going to wait for that. Usually, it takes a little bit, um, depending on what, like it, what it is. <coughs> so just wait for this to download. All right. So once this is downloaded, this is the zip. So I know Meat Wagon was talking about on, I think you have to have Rinrar or something. Rin, Zrin, I don't know how to, I think it was Rinrar, to open it. But what's cool about Mac all you have to do is right click and then you show in finder and you all you have to do double click it and it uses this thing called archive utility and it unzips it your it unzips it for you that's what that it's so much like i'm not like making fun of windows or anything but i mean the mac is so much easier when it comes to all this stuff you don't have to like download any of the programs to unzip it it already comes with it you just have to right click so it's going to give you this folder right here and what's in this folder is usually sometimes yeah they give you instructions or something but they, then they have this other folder and this is the world right here this is the stuff um, so what you're gonna do you're gonna like if you wanna make uh, a new folder or whatever for a new world do that make a new folder put the server.jar in there and get all that other junk that I showed you in there because you're gonna uh, want that so uh, where did that where that folder go I'm, I'm not sure so I'll just show you guys again uh, new folder I'm just gonna type Example, I guess. Whoops. Two, or one. Whatever. All right. So whatever you want to name it. Example one. You want to put this whatever world it is. Whatever the one when you double click and it shows data level all that. Just drag this right into there. Just drag it right there. That's it. 
then um, you can exit this out. You can <coughs> well, exit that out. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Uh, it's right there. All right, but you want to, so as I said, drag your dot, dot jar right there um, out of your other one if you want to have another folder. And what you're going to do, same thing as last time, open this up. Whoops. Yeah. So, oh yeah, this is a good example. If you you cannot open Minecraft.jar or whatever twice, it'll show you this. Perhaps the server is already running on that port. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna go over here. See, there it is, right there, and then just quit. And then you're gonna open up again, and there you go. So it's gonna start to do all that stuff again. So it's gonna be like the same thing, and you're gonna have your download thing in there. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Temple of Notch, or for me it is right now. And you're going to highlight, you just hold down the left clicker and scroll across all the stuff, if it, sometimes it goes longer. And you're going to make sure all of it's blue. And you're going to right click and then you're going to do copy all five, whatever, or copy items, whatever, whatever number it is. And then you're going to go into world. And this is, see, this is all that random crap that generated when you started that new random uh, world. So you're going to highlight all of this. And that, that, these two keep flashing on and off, those don't really matter. Uh, you can, if you can catch them, I guess you can delete them. Yeah. Whoops. If I could click. Oh my God. All right, there we go. All right. So then, since you have your other items copied from the Temple of Notch, all this stuff, you're gonna go into World, and you're gonna right click, and then you're gonna paste. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna take, it's gonna get rid of that random crap that generated, and it's gonna take all this level data, every single thing, and it's gonna put it into a world. Uh, the world that the server uses to like show up so that when you log into it, it's going to be that. So that's what you do, and it should be like that. So you're going to close down uh, the jar again, just quit it, and you're going to open it right back up again. And there you go. It's going to start new region, spawn area. All right. So there, that's it. That's how you get, like, you, you get a downloaded world into a folder to use to play with a friend online so say it's a survival map or whatever so you're gonna go into multiplayer same thing you just join and boom there you are um it's like the only bad thing about this oh shoot where am i at oh my god it spawned me on the other side here hold on i'll show you guys that's the only bad thing about this when you do this is that um <coughs> oh my god sorry i'm so sorry about this guys i've just been really sick and I wanted to, I, I told Meat Wagon I'd try to do this video in the next couple of days. And sorry if you guys didn't get this frame rate or whatever. Um, I told him I'd post it in a couple of days and I, I didn't want to let him down. I don't know if he really cares at all actually. But, you know, I, I don't know. I just wanted to do this for you guys because I know some people are struggling. I don't know why this is lagging so bad. But, um, you sh oh, sorry. Yeah, let's see if you guys can see that Norton's thing. I don't know what it is. It's some security thing that my computer does, I guess, every so often and it always lags every time I get like frame rate whenever it's on or whatever so anyway that as I was saying that's the only bad thing when you put a world into a server it does not spawn you at the spawn point that like it usually would if you did it in single player so you alright it's supposed to spawn you right here so you just kinda try to find the spawn and then do it from there so um that what the, if you guys haven't seen this I'll show you guys this real quick I think it's pretty sweet it's called the temple of notch and uh, you, what well, you're gonna, I don't know, I, it, there's like dispensers and so, oh, mine's just more for memory. Anyway, just get a piece of dirt and you're just gonna drop it right in there. And there's pressure plates, and yep, there we go. And it should open this door. I'm just gonna show, show you guys this real quick, sorry. And come down here, step on these pressure plates, and boom. Look how boss like this is. Yeah, if you could see like behind it, how much redstone and stuff is there, it's crazy. And it should start doing something. It, yep. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Yep. And that's what happens. Oh, and I, I saved myself because <laughs> I knew what was gonna happen. Uh, when he starts crying, he hates you. And here I'll just show you guys. And it shoots you down into this pit. And usually this opens and lavas there. And if he likes you, he gives you. Oh, there I go again. Um, and he, here, I'm, that's enough with that. Um, he gives you like diamond and gold. So anyway, so get that's it, guys. That's how you get a multiplayer that's how you get a world that you download into a multiplayer server where you can host it and your friends can join as i said make sure port map is open and then you have to have the server.jar open and it's the same thing for single player what you're going to do is try to find your minecraft bin or your minecraft thing and what i did is put it up there so it's easier to find 
But to find it, you're going to go to your home thing, and you're going to go to library, double click it, application support, and then Minecraft. And sorry if I'm going too fast, just kind of keep rewinding it. Um, application support, or I mean library, application support, then you're going to find in your thing Minecraft. And it should open up this thing, and you'll see bin and all this stuff. And this is uh, one thing that, that you're going to have to do with texture packs, too. All right, so this is this is going to be the folder. It should look like this, and it's going to say all this stuff. Now, you're going to look for the thing that says saves, and this is all your single-player worlds. And, yeah, I know I have a lot. And uh, where's that? Meaty World right there. Um, anyway, yeah, so this is going to be all your single-player. So you're going to do the same exact thing as if you download it. It's going to give you the folder. I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to tell you guys. Just put it in that folder like this. Host it as a server, copy the the worlds thing, delete the random generated world, place it in there, close the server or close the jar out, and then open it back up, and bam, you should be good. Um, so yeah, that that's uh, that's it. So, um, but real quick, this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. If you have any, uh, if you guys need anything else, please comment below. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get texture packs. So uh, I have a lot of them. Whoops, I didn't mean to open that back up. Uh, so texture pack. So say here, I'm just gonna, I'll just get a random one off Planet Minecraft. Um, so like if you whatever, as I said, they give you download links in on uh, Dumb and Dumber's videos in the comment section or not comment, uh, description or whatever it is. I don't even know. So uh, I don't know why this is like. So you're gonna go to whatever you get it, Minecraft forms, Planet Minecraft or whatever. And just go to texture packs, whatever texture pack you want. Um, I'm just going to do the first one, so I'll get the whatever, this one. Um, so you're just going to click it, download it, whatever. It's the same thing. Just download. And I have a lot of texture packs, so. All right, so it's going to do the same exact thing as last time. Like, say, if you were downloading the world. So once that's done, it's going to it's let you know, whatever. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to right-click Show and Finder. And it should be, yeah, it shows it right here. So save that again, and you're going to go back into, you're going to open another finder window, and you're going to just put it, like, right above it or something. And you're going to go back to your Minecraft folder thing with the bin. I just put mine right here, as I said, so it's a shortcut. And you're going to find the folder that has the list or the name texture packs. You're going to click in here, and you can see all mine. I don't know. They're all spread out for some reason. So what you're going to do, you're going to, as I said, the unzipping thing is really easy. Just drag it in here and then just double click it and it'll pull up archive, utility, boom, done, zipped. That's all you have to do. It's so easy. And you just put it in here and then when you go in Minecraft, um, it'll pull up or you go to the main menu. Uh, hold on. Mine's, mine low, er, leg is really bad. So texture packs and then right here. These are all mine that I have. As I said, mine was on Canecraft, and that's my favorite one because I, I like it. That meat uses it, and guns use it, and I I liked it. So I like I like Borderlands too. So um, I think what did I, I think I clicked one on accident. All right, so I'll just show you guys. This is the one I just downloaded, Project Mario or whatever. And I know Windows has to do like something with this open like texture back right here. And yeah, I I don't know. I think Mac is so much easier, and it's not as confusing. For me, at least, uh, to do this, maybe if I had Windows, it, I'd probably think it's easier to like than Mac or whatever. I don't know what this is doing. So anyway, that's all you do: highlight it, click it, done, and there it is. That's the texture pack. Uh, that's how you do it. So if you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, please leave them in the description. Or sorry, I'm I, I'm so messed up. I'm sick. I've been tired. <laughs> But uh, leave them in the comment section below. Any questions you guys have for me, uh, anything you need to know, I'll uh, help you out. If, if you, I need to make a little video for you guys, that's fine. I'll try to do it as soon as I can. And as I get said, sorry, guys, my throat is just so sore. I've been really sick, but I wanted to do this so I could get this out to meet and help you guys, whoever have, have Mac or whatever, even if you don't, um, just to help you guys how, uh, how to do that. And even if you're on Windows, all you have to do is download that server thing that I showed you. Oh, last thing. Um, people have been asking about the MC Patcher. I just remembered this because I had it open. Um, once you download that, this is to where texture packs that need HD. Um, you have to get this. It's usually on the page. If not, I'll leave this in the description too, the link to this. Um, and once you get all of that, download it and open it, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to do, not it'll do something at the start, load it, then you're just going to click patch.
And yeah, so it's gonna do that. Boom. I don't know how long you guys will take, and that's it. You just exit out, and that's it. It's done. So you don't really do anything with that. That just helps. It, it gets rid of this crap that it shows. It says like use the patcher noob in the water if you don't uh, do the patcher. So that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for what watching this video and hopefully uh i can i'm gonna have some more videos out on my channel if you guys want to come check that out and uh thank you meat wagon for letting me post this video on your uh, video hopefully this will help you guys and uh, i know sorry i'm not like i didn't go in too into depth i didn't want this to take forever it's already at like 20 minutes so um as i said if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and like the video uh that helps me out a lot so anyway guys sorry about the phone but thanks for watching guys peace